Hey, what's up? It's Jose with another YouTube video. So today I wanted to do just a quick info video as kind of a follow up to the previous videos that I have done regarding the Tracker Die 39 millimeter cartridge eliminator kit, as well as the two inch four cap extensions. I've seen some comments and I've gotten some DMs on Instagram with questions about, can I do this on my X year sports or model? And so I figure why not make a video and try to help explain what you might see if you do want to run the two inch extended fork caps. When I was looking into this, I didn't really quite see too much info. So I figure why not put a video out there that might help explain and might give a little insight for those who are interested or just curious what the process is like for running extended fork caps. Uh, I am running uh, the two inch fork cap extensions right now on my 2017 Iron 883. I have the 39 millimeter front end and I'm running the Tracker Die Cartridge Eliminator Kit as well as the progressive suspension springs. So when I did the Tracker Die Kit, I had to uh, try and figure out whether or not I needed to buy new springs. The answer, yes. I bought two matching progressive suspension springs uh, from the Tracker Die site. Um, so that was one thing that I had to just determine before I went through with the process because when you're eliminating the cartridge, which is for I believe 2014 models and up for Sportsters, one side of your forks will have this fully built cartridge side and then the standard spring on the other side. This one actually looks like a progressive spring uh, because it's got the tighter coils on the bottom and then a little bit more spread out on the other side. So when I pulled apart the stock internals on those 39 millimeter fork tubes, uh, one side had the cartridge side and when I took the cap off and you can see here, one side uh, was holding all of that together with this threaded center piece. So on this fork cap, as you can tell right here, there's threads right in the middle and that was intended to receive the cartridge side. And so when you actually are replacing the cartridge side, um, you can still run this fork cap, but um, on the cartridge side, it's all just built to hold it in place. And then you fit this up to the fork tube and then the fork tube goes right onto the fork cap. And so that's all the internal components right there of one side of the fork tubes. As you can see, it's all just one big piece. You can take it apart if you wanted to, but because I just have it sitting in a box, I've just left it all together. And then on the other side, as I mentioned, uh, you don't have a cartridge. You'll actually have what is probably the most common setup for fork tubes on most bikes or at least most sporties and 39 millimeter and 48 millimeter front ends on Sportsters. So on the other side, um, as you can see, and as I mentioned, you'll have a standard spring that fits inside of the fork tubes. And then there's typically a spacer, like a PVC spacer, and that'll sit uh, between the spring. And then there will be a washer that sits on the other end. And then that will sit up against the uh, stock fork cap. So um, as you see here, it would be something like this with again, the spacer in between. Um, and then this would all go and slide into your fork tube. So, um, that's kind of the quick down and dirty basics of your internals on the fork tubes minus the damper and minus some of the other components that you'll see down at the bottom of your fork tubes. Again, this is more specific to the fork caps. And so uh, if you did want to run just the fork cap extensions and you were thinking, can I get away with just running uh, my stock internals? The simple answer might just be no and the reason is depending on the fork cap extensions that you buy they might not actually have the threaded center of that cap so that's needed for the cartridge side um, and on both of these two inch extended fork caps 
they're just hollowed out similar to the um, other port cap so this one um, again like I mentioned you run it with using a washer and then your PVC spacer and then on top of that or below that would be the spring and that's kind of the intended purpose on these two two inch ones so when I did the tracker die kit I ended up replacing the two springs for the stock internals to match and so they would both be progressive uh, suspension springs and that's what's currently on the bike right now and that's what helps me run the tracker die kit and the extended dampers so that's kind of the quick down and dirty hopefully that helps explain um, what the process might be for someone who's interested in running uh, just extended fork caps you might be able to find extended fork caps with the threaded center on um, a site somewhere they might be a little bit pricier you might be able to find some that have been designed specifically to run with stock internals but um, that really just depends I, again this is my experience with a 2017 sportster iron 883 it has the 39 millimeter front end and i replaced the stock internals with progressive suspension and the tracker die extended damper kits i actually still have the uh, assembly diagram for tracker die so i'll show you that here in just a second uh, but hopefully this also helps maybe visually uh, explain what i was just talking about there we go so as you can see here hopefully you got the fork cap the washer the preload spacer the progressive spring or, um, and then you'll have the uh, different components down below for the damper again just depending on what setup you're running um, on the older bikes i'm assuming anything like kind of mid 2000s early 2000s mid 90s early 90s you'll have the symmetrical or the matching internal so you might not actually run into this issue you might be able to just buy the extended four caps and then throw them in there you might also not be running a preload spacer um, again everyone's setup is going to be slightly different depending on the model and the year of the bike but my understanding is that 2014 and up have the cartridge side so you might need to look into whether or not you're going to have to do a little bit more work than just replacing the four caps. And if you did want to see uh, more examples of what I'm talking about as far as the tracker die kit, I have a video of me installing it. It's not necessarily the best install video, but it shows the process that I went through to install it, as well as my experience installing the four cap extension caps, um, and then just kind of a before and after of what that looks like. And yeah, if you have any more questions or you're still curious what that looks like or what that might actually mean for you when you're trying to install it, I don't know, whatever the question might be, put it in the comments section down below. I'll try to help answer it the best that I can. Again, um, I just figured some people might be interested in getting a little bit more insight into this process before just buying the four caps off Amazon or whatever and then installing them or getting them and not being able to install them. Thank you so much for watching. Again, this is uh, just a fun hobby of mine. Hopefully this video was informative. Um, if you like these types of videos, if, if you like Average Jose is just kind of tinkering around in the garage, um, trying to help other folks out, feel free to subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment down below, all of the good stuff that YouTube recommends people who are making videos say, because I do like the engagement. Follow me on Instagram at no way Jose. And yeah, really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. All right, bye.